This is photobiomodulation using red light and near-infrared light. Now I'm using this treatment five times per week. According to an overwhelming volume of publications, these light frequencies can drastically improve your health, cognitive function, and make you look younger. And at 56, I do need all of the above. So let's look into this. This video is sponsored by Best Cool. They produce very powerful and affordable red light therapy panels. I have been using their Pro 200 device regularly for 20 minutes, five times per week. If you're interested in these panels, there's a link in the description of this video. Now, the wavelengths used in red light therapy devices are in the 650 nanometer range, which is red light, and 850 nanometer range, which is near infrared light, and that is outside of the visible spectrum. So we only actually see the red light portion generated by the device. The panel that I am using has two red light wavelengths, 630 nanometers for collagen production in the skin, and 660 nanometers for metabolism and cellular energy and two near-infrared wavelengths, 850 nanometers for deep muscle recovery and 940 nanometers for tissue repair and pain relief. So again, these wavelengths are unique in that they can penetrate into the skin and even reach deeper structures like our organs, muscles, joints, and brain. Red light can penetrate up to 10 millimeters or about a third of an inch, and near-infrared light can penetrate up to 100 millimeters or up to four inches and actually pass through bone. But the amazing benefits ultimately happen at the cellular level, in the mitochondria of our cells. Here, these wavelengths of light stimulate cytochrome C oxidase, which in turn increases the production of melatonin in the mitochondria. Now, most people associate melatonin with sleep. And there we're talking about the release of melatonin from the pineal gland in our brain at night. But this is only about 5% of our body's total melatonin. 95% uh, of our melatonin is produced in our mitochondria and has a very different function. Melatonin actually is a very powerful antioxidant. It neutralizes free radicals and improves energy production. So the amount of ATP that is generated. And this makes our cells healthier and dramatically decreases the possibility of disease processes from cancer to autoimmune disease and heart disease. The increase in energy and reduction of free radicals rejuvenates our cells. There are many benefits to our health from red light therapy, but to keep the length of this video reasonable, I will only talk about four here. The first benefit is the anti-inflammatory effect of red light therapy. As our cells produce more energy and decrease the buildup of free radicals, they become more functional and are able to mount an anti-inflammatory response. This is mitigated by the production of anti-inflammatory cytokines and the decrease of pro-inflammatory molecules. The improvement of microcirculation further contributes with the ability of the body to transport inflammatory breakdown products away from the tissue towards secretory pathways. And this can reduce pain, swelling, and stiffness in joints, promote tissue healing, and improves inflammation and redness associated with psoriasis, eczema, and acne. Furthermore, as we know that inflammation is at the root of many diseases, the anti-inflammatory effect of red light therapy is greatly contributing to disease prevention. At the level of the skin, red light therapy can improve skin elasticity and reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. In a 2019 article that was published in the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology, the authors find that treatment of human skin cells with low level red light and infrared light were found to significantly increase hyaluronic acid synthase and elastin gene expression in human fibroblasts in as little as three days. Furthermore, synthesis of hyaluronic acid, collagen protein, and elastin protein were also increased in human fibroblasts exposed to red or near-infrared light. And this makes red light therapy an excellent treatment for sun-damaged and age-related skin conditions. This one might actually sound a bit crazy, but red light therapy can actually stimulate muscle hypertrophy, so cause an increase in lean muscle mass. A 2017 study published in the American Journal of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation showed that in a placebo-controlled trial, red light therapy was able to achieve a 20% thigh muscle growth over a period of 12 weeks versus a 5% growth in the placebo group when regular resistance training was implemented. Now, the authors state that this is due to the effect of red light therapy on DNA and RNA synthesis rates, which in turn affect cell proliferation and gene expression related to several cellular pathways. In other words, it appears that red light therapy activates genes involved in muscle growth. 
The red light therapy may also trigger the release of fatty acids from fat cells, which can be used for energy production. And this can decrease the size of fat cells and cause a reduction in fat storage. As mentioned before, the infrared light can easily penetrate bone and reach the brain. Due to its ability to suppress inflammation, increase energy production, and improve blood flow, red light therapy can prevent and possibly treat neurodegenerative disorders, including Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease. Now, studies have shown that near-infrared light can reduce the accumulation of amyloid beta plaques, which are a hallmark of Alzheimer's disease in the brain. The infrared light can also decrease neuroinflammation, which is a major contributor to neurodegenerative disorders. And this is achieved by reducing the activation of glial cells and decreasing the production of inflammatory molecules. The reduction of amyloid beta plaques and the decrease in inflammatory processes in the brain can improve cognitive function and protect against neuronal damage. A 2023 study that was published in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease concluded that near-infrared light treatment appears to be safe and potentially beneficial for Alzheimer's dementia patients. It improved cognitive function and activities of daily living. Our daily exposure to red light and infrared light from natural sunlight has drastically decreased over the last century. Today, we are only 10% as much exposed to these wavelengths as we were in the early 1900s. This is worsened by our use of low energy glass in our windows, which filters out near infrared light, and our use of LED ceiling lights, which compared to traditional incandescent light bulbs do not admit any near infrared radiation. Understanding the incredible impact that red light and near-infrared light have on our health, it becomes clear that one of the causes of our worsening health crisis may be our lack of exposure to these therapeutic energy waves. Red light therapy panels offer a highly concentrated dose of the exact wavelengths that can improve our health and make us look and feel years younger.